getting? Those are the games, if you want to be up there, that you need to see through and come through. I thought first half we played amazing, just didn't have that killer instinct. And then, you've got to look at it this way, right? Second half, we might not have been on top, on form, but we're still putting as much pressure in as we could do. And, you know, getting caught at the back like that from Gabriel, it is poor, but again, you know, against Leicester, we obviously had the own goal, the fans picked it back up. And same today, fans picked it back up. And the fact that Gabby got the winner as well, there is something special. I, div I honestly believe in divine entities, me, and there's something special that is happening. And the fact that Gabby made the mistake and then got that goal, it's buzzing. Like, there's so much to look at in that game in the sense of how Arteta switched it. Felt like it could be going to a different formation. Eddie, I felt Eddie was unlucky with some of the chances as well. But then to be able to then switch it back, to keep it out and see it out, just the fluidity of the team. Let like Saka can slot in at left wing back, bringing Tommy Asu on and he's playing left back or left centre back. Like there's just something super special about what we're about. And as I say, at the end of the season, I can think of many games last season where I look frustrated at where we slipped up and dropped points. And I look at this one where I think at the end of the season, we can look back and go, oh, that's where we gain points. And again, that momentum, unbeaten, at home, just getting that three points. Next game, let's get three points against Villa on Wednesday. Let's get the three against United. Let's get the three points against Everton. As I say, all winnable games that, up until the international break, can see us sitting pretty. You know, looking at the other results today as well, the league's there to be played for I'm not getting gassed but you know what I'm saying right but Arteta said something in his press conference earlier this week that's really stuck with me and it's something that I was sort of touching on in the last video I think last season we overachieved in the sense that the players that we had did we really feel like Champions League was our objective at the start of the season yet been with the run into the end it was a shame that we didn't get it but I believe it's a blessing that we didn't because we've got the Europa we can breed the young players and also rotate the squad but one thing that was huge last season is it's the first time that I felt a connection for a lot of players and that's built on this season with the different various champs that we've got and I felt that's what the main thing to take from last season was and I'll build in that into this season there's so many likeable players that you want to back it doesn't matter if there's errors it doesn't matter if there's chances missed that's football but you know they're giving their all for this club and that's all we want to see and that support and that harmony is what's then going to allow them to believe that we can keep going and take those risks rather than feeling the crowds on us because we feel threatened because we might have fucked up and it's a bit of an edgy air around it so look end of the day I really believe now in this team has the potential to go on again in these next few games and get the three points today was vital Fulham aren't no mugs man first game they've lost this season they've played Liverpool including in that run as well you know what I'm saying so as I say with the way the results have gone today just shows that that league is unpredictable so the one thing that we can always do is remain consistent and that's what we've done today with the three points big huge three points big up my gooners wherever you're watching in the world keep that faith Victoria Concordia Creaset here we're going to Wednesday man bless your boy Ben Random peace out man